Special greetings to you in the name of the Lord. This is the Daily Manor Extract for the 3rd of January 2022. Shall we pray? I believe, Father, we worship and bless your name. We thank you because you are a great God. You are a loving Father. You are God that never fails. Thank you for the battles you've been fighting for us. Thank you, Lord, for the victory you have given unto us. We want to look into your word. At this time, we ask that you open our understanding. Teach us your will. And help us, Lord, to be doers of this word. Thank you because we believe you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. We're considering the topic, the mirage experience. The mirage experience. Our text is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 22 to 30. And Saul commanded the servant, saying, Commune with David secretly and say, Behold, the king hath delight in thee, and all his servants love thee. Now therefore be the king's son-in-law. And Saul's servant speak those words in the ears of David. And David said, Seemeth it to you a light thing to be a king's son-in-law, saying that I am a poor man and lightly esteemed? And the servant of Saul told him, saying, On this manner speak David. And Saul said, Thus shall ye say to David, The king desireth not any dowry, but an hundred foreskins of the Philistines to be avenged of the king's enemies. But Saul thought to make David fall by the hand of the Philistines. And when his servant told David this word, it pleased David well to be the king's son-in-law, and the days were not expired. Wherefore David arose and went, he and his men, and slew of the Philistines two hundred men. And David brought their foreskins, and they gave them in full tale to the king, that he might be the king's son-in-law. And Saul gave in Michal, his daughter, to wife. Who stop here? Because of time, a key verse is in verse 22. And Saul commanded the servant, saying, Commune with David secretly, and say, Behold, the king hath delight in thee, and all his servants love thee. Now, therefore, be the king's son-in-law. A mirage is an optical illusion in the desert sea or plain surface during a sunny day. It occurs under certain atmospheric conditions in which objects appear to be real from a distance. An observer viewing it would hope it is a lake in the distance if he is traveling across the desert as the thirsty traveler moves on in expectation of a stream to quench his thirst. He discovers the water he appeared to have seen has moved or disappeared. It is unreal. David was ensnared in that illustry hope when the murderous king Saul presented a marriage proposal to make him his son-in-law. The devilish conspiracy to eliminate the young son of Jesse had been with splendid prospects. Who would not readily grab a lifetime chance to be a member of a royal family through marriage to a king's daughter? Yet, not all that glitters is gold. Many hell-inspired counsel and propositions come our way, wrapped with good intentions, but their contents are deadly. The only way to avoid their enticement is to seek the Lord. He can guide the believer who reaches out to Him for help. David did not go to God for approval before plunging into the deal with Saul. It was unusual of him. Still, the Lord was with him. He leaped over the first hurdle, schemed to have him killed by the Philistines through Saul's demand. 
believers ought to be wary about agreements that they enter because there are false brethren who are seeking to trap us in temptations of all sorts and distract us from being ready for the rapture we need to turn over every detail of our secular and ministerial life to God in prayer to avoid falling into the false hope of a mirage. Thoughts for the day. Focus on the Messiah, not the mirage. Amen. Saul had a plan to kill David. He comes in a subtle way to destroy the destiny of David, to destroy the prospect of David, to destroy the dream of David. He came the first time using his first daughter to entrap David. The first daughter's name was Marab. He uses her in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 17 to 19. We see the plot that Saul plotted in order to get David. David innocently thought Saul was trying to present a gift to him. He never knew that was a Greek gift with an intention to get something from him. The Bible tells us that the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but he has come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. The Bible tells us in the book of Psalms, chapter 34 verse 19 many are the affliction of the righteous but the lord delivereth him out of them all michael loves david saul takes the opportunity to offer david another deal if David feels he lacked the wealth or social status to be the king's son-in-law, Saul will consider another dowry altogether. One hundred Philistines first king. You know what that means? He's going to get to the camp of the Philistines, killed on dread Philistine men and remove the first skin, then bring to Saul. You ask yourself, what will Saul do with the first skin of the Philistine? Absolutely nothing. His plot and his plan is to get David eliminated. Look at that first Samuel chapter 18. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 21. And Saul said, He sailed this secretly. David wasn't there. And brother, my sister, you don't know the plans of the enemies against your life, against your family. You don't know what they must have said to in their secret chamber. You don't know all they had in mind to do to you, to do to your family, to destroy, to kill to rob you of what God has given to you. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 21, And Saul said, I will give him her, that she may be a snare to him, and that the hand of the Philistines may be against him. Wherefore Saul said to David, Thou shalt this day be my son-in-law in one of the twain. Do you see? the plot of Saul. Do you see how he's trying to get David, to destroy the dream of David, to destroy the purpose God has for David? He's doing that in a subtle way. The enemy comes in a subtle way. Satan comes in a subtle way. No wonder you need the grace of God in your life. You need the guidance of God in your life. You need the direction of God in your life. Saul want to destroy all that David had in store. Saul sent words of this offer to David, who respond with enthusiasm. Saul's statement intent is to take revenge on his enemies, but his real desire is to have David killed by the Philistines. Saul's hopes are dashed again as David returns with, the, with twice the dowry 
Saul had demanded. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him. As you remain in the will of God, as you remain in the side of God this year, the Lord will always fight for you. The Lord will deliver you. Now listen to this. Satan will go any lengths to destroy the testimony, to destroy the progress, to destroy the destiny, and to destroy the joy of believers. He will go any lengths. How oh, you and I need to watch and pray, Matthew. Matthew chapter 26, the Bible tells us in verse number 41, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray because you had vastry the devil. First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 tells us, He walked about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Satan is a jealous bulldog he never want anything good for you he never want anything good for your family he never want anything good for your future the year is just beginning god have a plan for you god have a destiny for you but satan we want to rob you of that he will introduce sin to you introduce pleasure to you introduce worldliness to you introduce uncleanness to you his intent is to destroy your future his intent is to destroy what god has given to you and that's why he's presenting all of these things to you i pray you'll be wise today to know that the trick of the enemies is just to kill is just to steal and just to destroy be careful of the gift satan presents to you this year satan does not give any free gifts you don't dine with the devil at all, not even with a long spoon. Be watchful this year. Follow the Lord. Follow the footstep of the Lord. If you are there hearing the sound of my voice and you are still living in sin, you are still following the biddings of the devil, you are still following the biddings of Satan, he has nothing to offer you this year. Satan has nothing good to offer you this year other than to steal that which God has given to you and to kill your dream and to kill your future and to kill your destiny. Satan has nothing good to offer you this year. Make up your mind to follow the Lord. Make up your mind to serve the Lord. Make up your mind to live in accordance to the will of God, or else all those his promises will become a mirage at the end of the day. I pray you'll be wise. You will follow the Lord. You will serve the Lord even this year in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to talk to the Lord this moment. Open your mouth and rededicate your life to the Lord. Father, I will serve you. I will follow you. If you are not born again, make up your mind. Surrender to the Lord today day before you lose everything the intent of Saul in the life of David was to kill him though he presents a gift to him that was a Greek gift he has an intention to kill he has an intention to destroy David open your mouth and pray and say Lord Oh, guide me this year. Preserve me this year. All the plots, all the plans, all the strategy, all the devices of the devil against my family, against my life, against my destiny, against my ministry. This year, destroy in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. That ministry God has given to you, Satan doesn't want you to succeed in that ministry. It will bring conspiracy against you. It will bring temptation against you. It will bring all form of, I mean, things to derail you. But make up your mind. Say, Lord. Hold my hands lest I fall. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. Pilgrim through this barren land. He will guide you. He will watch over you. He will see you through. Talk to the Lord in prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray father lord i thank and bless your name for your word you are not willing that we should perish your desire is that we escape the trick 
the plus the devices of the devil and become victorious this year help us lord to focus on your word help us lord to serve you in truth and in spirit this year in the name of jesus destroy the works of the devil put the enemies to shame oh god help us lord to always be by your side and to serve you in truth and in spirit this year i worship and i bless your name because i believe you have answered in jesus mighty name i pray amen the lord bless you i want to uh tell you about our youtube channel where you can get past messages uh, messages for last two three months you can have them in our youtube channel go back to listen to them and it can also be an archive where you can get our messages that the channel's name is the unique family unique is spelled e u n i c k the unique family as you go there uh, you get more of the messages we've been sending all this way i pray the Lord will strengthen you and empower you the more in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you.